this workshop is uh, only dedicated for the racing skis and the prototype skis. We are here in this part, it's only the preparation and you can see we have different components of the skis. We can see the base here. You can have uh, here the cosmetic of the skis. So all these different uh, components will be in the skis. So we have different thicknesses of uh, metal plate, uh, different type of metal plate and of course different side cuts depending on the reference of the skis. Uh, we can uh, manage the stiffness of the skis with the wood core, uh, depending on the thickness of the wood core, or we can also change the, the type of fiber and type of wood in the wood core, or put more or less uh, aluminium, which make the ski softer or stiffer. So depending on the disciplines, we're gonna change the type of wood. Okay, now we start uh, to mold uh, downhill skis. So you can see she placed uh, the base. So we have here the different components and uh, she placed now the edges, you see. It's all handmade. So right now we will, uh, let's say, cook the skis for about 15 minutes and then cool down. And then the skis will be ready to come out from the press and to be finished. You see here, it's a, skis, just, uh, a pair of skis just coming out from the press. So you can see there is still a lot of work on it. So if one racer is actually asking us a ski which is wider uh, on the front of the skis, then we have to rebuild a new mold just for even for one millimeter and we have to rebuild a new mold. So it's a lot of work sometimes. It's actually not the job from the athletes to say, I would like to have a skis which is wider in the front or stiffer or... The job of the athlete is to give us his feedback. Nous récupérons les, les informations de nos athlètes et avec ces retours de sensations, nous faisons en sorte de développer, d'améliorer le comportement des skis et faire en sorte que les, nos produits soient le, le plus performants possible. Ok, this is the first step after the molding process. Uh, the skis go through these big machines, which is a sandband machine. And uh, it's going to be grinded very rough to make it actually clean, make the base clean and, and flat. And then we will go smoother and smoother on different uh, following machines. So you can see here on this machine, it's the uh, edges preparation. So we make the base bevel and also the angle uh, on the sidewall. Depending on the discipline, if it's uh, downhill, super G, GS or slalom, we have a different angle on the, on the sidewall and also a different base bevel. So for each discipline and for each uh, uh, gender, male or female, we can adapt uh, the preparation. So the grinding is made to uh, have a better gliding on snow. It's like uh, you can compare that more or less uh, to the to the tires on the car. If there is some water between um, the snow and the skis, it has to have a small uh, grind in between to evacuate uh, the excess of water. If there is too much water and no way to uh, evacuate the water, then it's make kind of a vacuum uh, process and the skis is stick on the snow. Improving the skis, it's a work that is done all the time. We are there on the field and to listen uh, to the athletes, to bring the skis to the athletes, to listen to them, what they need, what they feel, and in order to improve the, the skis. And all those information are coming back here to the factory in order to, to, to improve and to, to try to, to go together with the feeling of the, of the athletes.